San Antonio Christian Schools. Isn't it wonderful to be part of a Christian school system that worships God and promotes a lifestyle that reflects Jesus Christ? I can't tell you how much it has meant to me as a father of three daughters. They walked the halls of sax, they played on sax courts, and they prayed on sax grounds. My daughters were surrounded by teachers who not only desired to help them grow academically, but cared about them spiritually and emotionally. Sax has touched and changed so many lives. I was a single mom and I had been homeschooling my girls for four years. Uh, Sarah was needing to go into high school and uh, I knew that she needed more help than I could give her. So as she started looking uh, into different options, uh, she did meet someone in our church uh, that did recommend San Antonio Christian Schools. As we started looking at SACS, I realized that I didn't really have the resources. That the staff and everybody in the office when I went in were very encouraging. So. I decided to apply for a scholarship that had just become available uh, for single moms. So I uh, applied and uh, the girls were both awarded scholarships. The scholarship did help us quite a bit. Um, I would not have had the opportunity to come to school here had it not been for that. The scholarship was renewed each year because of the generosity of so many of the families in the school that were contributing to that and uh, so the scholarship was renewed and they were able to graduate from San Antonio Christian. One thing that I was really impressed with at Sachs were the families and the way they loved us and the way they were always willing to help. Many times there were activities that were at that time difficult for me to be able to pay for and very often the girls would come home and say you know the retreats paid for or whatever you know function was going on that someone had come in and, and uh, paid for them already and I didn't have to worry about that. I was always uh, at ease and, and at peace when, when they went out and, and did things together because I felt like the girls were getting a good foundation and, and learning how to make good decisions and I think that that's been uh, something that I've seen now that uh, Sarah is out in the world and she's in the workforce and she really does rely on God and on everything that she's learned to help her to make quality decisions. I definitely feel that spiritually I'm more grounded because of the education that I received here. I definitely feel that sex prepared me and grounded me in my beliefs, taught me things that I wouldn't have otherwise learned. Memorization of verses that you forget 20 minutes after you write them down will come back to you five years later in a moment of need where you didn't feel like there was anything you had to hang on to, something that you learned here in Mr. Bittison's class or uh, something like that will come back and, and help you out. My daughters have graduated, but it's uh, San Antonio Christian is still very special to me. Uh, I have three grandchildren that are going to Saks right now. And uh, it's such a joy to come here and see people that I haven't seen in a while, and, and they're, they're always happy to see me, and of course, I'm very happy to see them too. I think the difference that Saks made in my life now as an adult is that I have a sound foundation, academically and spiritually. I have an extended family that I can always fall back on. Spiritually, I know that God is, will always be in my life. I can always go to Him no matter where I am. I'll always carry with me the generosity, the encouragement, the support, uh, the love that was offered to, to us here. I'm so grateful that I had the opportunity to come here, and I think Saks will always hold a special place in my heart. That story, like many others, are why we are so blessed to have a school like Saks for our children. San Antonio Christian School has grown over the years and has experienced so many blessings because of faithfulness. The board members, administrators, teachers, and parents that have led the way in the growth of this wonderful school have always gone before the Lord in prayer before every major decision. The board members have been good stewards of the funds God has entrusted to them. For example, the land and the facilities that we enjoy cost just over $15 million, and we now owe just under $5.5 million. God is so good. Isn't that exciting? 
It has been really incredible the last several years to see the debt reduction here at uh, San Antonio Christian. It has been a true blessing for all of us that uh, are privileged to serve on the school board. God is truly blessed in, in miraculous ways and in a very short period of time, and we are really grateful for all that He has done. God has shown favor on this school. It never ceases to amaze me how God has answered so many prayers over the years. We have come so far. We have come from this campus to this campus in such a short period of time. It's almost too incredible to believe. As we remain faithful to teaching and living by the Word of God, more and more families are drawn to the Sachs family and the spirit that dwells at this school. Just the school here, I mean, it just makes you feel welcome. Uh, the teachers surround you, um, the students surround you. If you're walking in the hall and you see one of your friends, even if they don't really even know you, it's like, hey, what's up, you know? I think it's a really loving and caring atmosphere of the student. It's like a, like a family. Um, I have uh, tons of friends here. We have fun and hang out all the time aside from school without uh, doing anything illegal. And uh, just a real cool thing about sax is, uh, yeah, it's just everybody loves to go to all the games. Everybody loves hanging out. And it's just, it's a fun environment. As a student, it is just such a blessing to be able to walk down the street or the sidewalk or the halls and just see um, such a beautiful campus. The environment and the atmosphere support and just um, really encourage a positive attitude in the students and um, just a fun, comfortable atmosphere for fellowship. The opportunity for our children to enjoy all of these facilities is the result of the sacrificial and selfless giving of families and individuals who stepped up during the time of need. For example, without the generosity of our families, there would be no softball field. Without the generosity of other families, there would be no baseball field or tennis courts. Without an individual gift, this elementary school cafeteria would not exist, nor would all of this beautiful landscape that we all enjoy. The stadium and the lights that shine for our football games are here because a group of committed individuals made it happen. And we now have this wonderful journalism lab through a special gift. Because of the contributions of so many people, our students and families can enjoy this wonderful school. As we grow, so do our needs and our vision. Come with me and I'm going to show you some of our most urgent needs that most people are not aware of. We plan to have four classes per grade in the elementary school, which will require us to add one more classroom and a bank of restrooms to the third through fifth grade wing. The security for these grounds is also in need of upgrading, everything from fencing to monitoring. Our get fit area next to the middle and high school gym is so incredible and so needed for exercise and body conditioning. But guess what? We have no heating, no air conditioning, no locker rooms, and no athletic offices. Another critical need is in the area of information technology for our students and teachers. There is a need for additional computers and software that will prepare our students for college and university level work. We have also set aside money to significantly upgrade equipment in our science and our math departments. Believe me, keeping up with technology is necessary for our students' college preparatory work here at SACS. Well, hopefully that gives you an understanding of some of our most urgent needs at San Antonio Christian School. But our real dream, if the Lord desires, is to have a multi-purpose facility that will meet the needs of all of our students. One of the things that really excites all of us on the board is the opportunity to uh, uh, expand with a, with a chapel. Uh, first and foremost, it gives everybody an opportunity to worship together. And uh, it's a multi-purpose facility that uh, we'll, we can use for, for drama, for band, for a choir someday. And as we look at our band and the, the 80 students that are participating in band now, uh, it's incredible because uh, four years ago we didn't even have a band. So we are really looking forward to uh, the multiple uses that this new facility will have, not only for the kids that are here today, but for the uh, generations to come. 
The vision for this facility has already been discussed and prayed about with the board and the development committee. We know that a few cannot give above and beyond what they are already sacrificing, but everyone can do something, and that is pray. Prayer is so important, and there are many who have been blessed with the resources that can make some of these dreams and needs come true. All of us working together can make this a reality. Again, if you will, talk it over with your spouse and pray about it. Pray about your part in making this all happen. And if you would like, give me or any board member a call to ask questions. Take home the packet of information on your table and after you have prayed through your part, mail or bring your pledge to the central office anytime before December 31st. The school board will announce the results of the campaign the first part of January. As your superintendent and representative of the school board, we are committed to Psalms 127.1, which states,